Okay, hello everybody. Um, so we're back again with the uh, capacity tester board. Um, a slight update. Uh, you may remember if you watched the other video that I was waiting for screens to, to turn up and they are in and they are on. I had to fiddle around to get the address right and the wiring right because it's a I2C uh, bus on there and the uh, instructions were in broken English and the address was wrong. Anyway, found that out, wired it up, uh, coded it up, it's all working, so lovely. So, uh, yeah, I haven't put in the rest of the um, resistors and MOSFETs yet, I've just been playing with how I want to get it set up properly and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. So, we'll start from the beginning, shall we? So, if we zoom down onto the screen... Hopefully the camera focuses in. Yeah, it does. So we've got a few stats on here. Um, so we, we know what battery it is. It's battery zero. The original voltage of the battery uh, comes up once it's been plugged in. Nothing's been plugged in today. The live voltage of the battery and the calculated capacity of the battery. There's probably some more things that I wouldn't mind putting onto the screen, actually, like... Um, length of time it's taking to get to that capacity uh, the current current rate um, that's going through the current rate uh, um, yeah so that that amount's being pulled at that point in time um, uh, I think that's probably about it then <coughs> so anyway we'll start from the beginning we reset the Arduino and we'll see in a minute. Uh, I say we'll reset the Arduino if it actually wants to reset. And it doesn't. Right, so unplug the power. So, on power up. Hey! A few stats. It tells you what the load resistor is in there. And then we go straight into the program. So, if I zoom out a little bit, you'll see I've got a switch here. It's not a very good switch. I overheated it when I was soldering it onto the board. Um, so it kind of gives two clicks to one button press. But anyway, so if we... Uh, the light's not very good there. I'll zoom back in, it might be um, better on this LCD. So you press the button, and we go to battery two. Uh, battery one, sorry. And then keep pressing and we circle around to three four five six seven eight oh, tell you what that's the film on this um, LCD I think that's not helping you open the camera I always tend to leave the films on so you can protect the screen a bit longer but there you go so yeah you keep pressing that button and to get round to um, zero again. So, 16 ways uh, testing, but we start at zero because then our channel is called zero, and microchips all start from zero and go to seven rather than one to eight. So, uh, <coughs> zoom the wrong way. Let's zoom back out again. Uh, so, centre the board. So, now we need to test that we are getting some meaningful figures so I've got this little chap here this is a NCR 18650B tend to be quite good sales um, <coughs> we've got a multimeter here so if we uh, I'll zoom you in a bit shall I? so if we test the uh, capacity of this now 408 okay so now we're gonna take that cell and we're gonna stick it into bay 0 so I'm gonna stick that in then I have to try and zoom in quickly um, down here so you can see what's happened on the screen Oops. so it said to me the voltage was uh, when it was originally plugged in, before we put the load onto it, 
the voltage was 40936. Um, so that's pretty accurate, I'd say. So that's a good start. Now, what we ideally need to do is make sure that um, the calculation that the Arduino is running internally is right. So we'd want to put the, the meter uh, in line with the load as well, so we can put the meter on to amps and get that to test. But I don't want to rip this circuit apart yet, so when I add the rest of the resistors and MOSFETs and whatnot to do the other, the other bays, I'll leave one up so that we can put the meter in line then we can see that it is drawing the right sort of current. So at the moment um, this is probably drawing around by the top end of 800 maybe a bit more into 900 milliamp hours. Um, so yeah we just leave it then and um, wait for it to finish basically. Um, it's given us the stats uh, we can cycle through the other bays and uh, so done it one screen per battery because it just seemed easier uh, so you can press the button right on the battery whatever capacity it is next battery da 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 and I thought having the voltage when it was first plugged into the uh, tester under no load would be very handy because then we know it isn't a duff battery so it hasn't cause if you follow the kind of rule of thumb with 18650 testing lithium battery testing you charge them, you leave them for a week, two weeks, then you come back and then you test the voltage, make sure they haven't dropped, because if they're dropping then they're burning energy on their own, which you don't want. So you discard those ones. Then you test on you. The other thing that you should also do is, particularly when you come to making up packs from recycled cells, is that you test the resistance of a cell. Uh, so that's a, another idea that I've been playing with with this tester that I could add in a little bit more and get it to test the resistance of a cell. The only downside of that is that I'm going to end up implying a load into the uh, the cell by default by doing that. But it'd be we can use such a high resistor that it'll be next to nothing in current draw. So I I think I probably will play with that next. Um, so yeah. So that's that. Um, so there'll be two versions of the code. I'm, I I apologise now that I haven't uploaded any of the code yet, uh, mainly because I knew this screen was coming and I wanted to mess around with a few bits. I got to tidy up the code a little bit. Um, um, so I'll get that done within the next week or so. Uploaded, um, and I'll put links to the videos uh, in the code, and then on the videos I'll put links to the code. Uh, so it makes it simple. Uh, now the code is nothing special. Um, I've used a library uh, for the I2C screen which I'll put links into. Some guy spent a lot of time obviously writing the library for it so props to him for doing that. Thank you very much. Um, I've just nicked that basically to make my life a lot simpler. I, there's no point repeating remaking the wheel. Um, so there you go. Uh, what else should I say about this now? I don't know. There's so many things, so little time, and I can't remember what the hell I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> no, um, right, so yeah, two versions of the code. Up, it up. Um, I've made the code as simple as possible, so I could have made it more compact, the code, but I've done it so if you're not used to doing Arduino's coding or whatever else, you'll be able to look through the code and know that Ah, battery zero, that's the segments for battery zero. It doesn't reuse any of the same code or anything like that. They're all labelled battery zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So um, there's a segment for uh, the, the discharge control, and there's a segment for the LCD control. And as I say, they're labelled pretty simple stuff. Um, we could have made it a bit more efficient and the code and how you read it at least anyway but as I say simplicity for people so that's that uh, I'm now going to plug in some other so as I got myself some of these I have some packs the other day so I'm going to stick those in I must admit I didn't read the spec sheet when I first got those cells and stupidly like a dumbass I plugged them into the charger the wrong way um, because I thought 
I knew best, obviously, and I thought the little contact area would have been the positive. But in fact, on those things, the big contact area on one side of the cell is the positive. There you go. So that's life. Uh, so I can press the button, go to number two, or number one, sorry, of this cell, and it's down at 3.022 volts without a load. Apparently. I don't know if I'd believe that. I think that might be wrong voltage. Yeah. Uh, 4.1. And that's, uh, what am I on now? 2. Zero, one, 2. So that little LG pink cell. 4.1. Four point one two seven, and this is number three, the Samsung cell, the ICR cell, and that's four point one two seven, and it's on load. So yeah, there you go. Um, the LEDs come on when the MOSFETs turned on, so you know that the load is happening. The resistors get warm, very warm. You won't want to hold on to them. Uh, they're ten watt resistors, four ohm, but with the voltage of the cells that we're using they should be um, seeing no more than about 4 watts so we're in capacity there it might be nice to have a cooling fan over those maybe um, power supply as I've mentioned before there is in the code there is a, a configuration uh, to tell the Arduino what voltage it's seeing so this particular one with an external power supply is 4.92 I think it is um, and we take that into account in the code when we do the A to D um, makes it a little bit more accurate so make sure you test your voltage on your board and then type that into the code uh, and obviously make sure you put the right resistor value into your code <laughs> otherwise the results will be very wrong so anyway that's probably enough of me waffling for now um, We'll probably do another update video. Well, we will do another update video when we do the rest of the resistors and MOSFETs and we do a calculation on the current. Um, but for now, have fun, be safe, and go and build something.